I've decided to create yet another tag using the Alina Craft tag die set. I, before I cut the paper, I laid a layer of tool and then I die cut. And here I'm going to put the topper, just trying to see how it's going to look. And I have some die cuts that I pre-cut and I'm using another Alina Craft die cut here and this is a bow that actually goes with the I believe it's a present tag topper no not a tag topper present bag topper maybe anyway I believe she still sells it on her shop and here this double open heart die cut is from a memento die that I think I got at Michael's either Michael's or Tuesday morning I'm also gonna use some twine to put on top to finish off my tag and this twine is from Joann's and that's it on this tag next we are going to create a card front using this oval die cut and it's a bit reflective a bit too reflective so I decided to go ahead and put some tool and I just basically bunched up that same glittery light pink tool that I used earlier and I'm just going to bunch it up and glue it right there in the middle and I just used a little bit of hot glue then I have this lace piece and I'm trying to figure out exactly where to put it so just trying to figure out what other elements I can use here to create this card front and I believe the lace is from Joann's if I didn't mention that already this is a pom-pom trim I believe it's a Melissa Francis pom-pom trim that I had gotten from the expo years ago and I'm so glad I got a whole spool of it And um, yeah, I've been using it for years. And I don't always use it because sometimes I forget. So here I'm just fussing with this pom-pom trim. Um, I felt like I needed to stretch it out on the right side there. So I had to kind of peel it back again. <laughs> peel it off, rather and re-glue it and what else did I do here I think I just ended up adding some gems at the end of yes I did <laughs> at the end of the pom-pom trim sorry Kind of lost my train of thought there. Okay. And this blick, I can't even remember where I got this. If it was from Hobby Lobby. I think it might have been from Hobby Lobby. So I think I was pretty satisfied with that. So I was just cutting the excess pieces of the, the lace trim. And that's it for this piece. Here I'm going to decorate several treat bag toppers that I pre-cut and this one here is the embossed treat topper and I basically just put my decorated crepe paper heart rosette there and then on the right side I think I ended up just putting a heart die cut 
in gold. And I'm just going to hot glue that on there. And then I decided to go through my box of bling. And I felt like I needed some more red just to balance things out on the right side. <laughs> so then I found this heart gem, which I've had in my stash for a while. And that's it. For this topper here, this is another Alina Craft topper, treat topper, and I love the way the bow part just kind of sticks out from the bottom of that rosette topper there. That's all I did, just glue that easy peasy. And for this one here, I think this is an alley bag topper. I decided to use that scribbles and splatter die cut. From Tim Holtz and then this is a bag that I've been wanting to decorate this is from Target so I'm just kind of looking through my stash to see what I can find and this is a felt die cut that I got from Target as well this XO felt and I thought that looked really cute and I just decided to put some more hot glue and then I took another oh a bow this was a bow that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby in the his and hers uh, wedding section and it was on clearance too, so got a good deal on that. And trying to figure out what to do with the stringy part. I didn't want to cut it off. I felt like I wanted to keep it on there and just let it dangle down. So that's exactly what I did. And then I put the heart topper on the right side. And, but I felt like it needed something more. So I think I'm looking through my die cuts. And you'll see that I decide to use another one of those scribble uh, the round scribble from Tim Holtz <laughs> I, that I had die cut. And uh, I decided to glue it on the bottom just I don't know to give it some interest and lastly I just put some pom-pom trims on the bottom or on the end of the string that's hanging and I decided to go with the red pom-poms so I just trimmed it a little bit shorter and then I just hot glued the pom-pom at the tip of the string and I didn't show it but um, just so you don't see the glue I also put a gem um, to cover up where the the pom-pom trim and the ribbon meets in the back. That's it. I hope you guys got some great inspiration and thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.